Hi guys and welcome back to a different video by myself, Bits and 87 Today we're looking at a decent fantasy football website where you guys can win cash prizes and uh, lots and lots of money if you can bet against your footballing knowledge and put it to the test in some awesome challenges. So today guys, we are on FanDuel. They approached me to give you guys the chance to sign up to this website make some money and obviously get them bragging rights against your friends if they are on the website as well. So what FanDuel is compared to most is it's a one day fantasy football. That's de technically what it is guys. It resets every single week. You enter yourself into contests which I'm going to be doing today and showing you what team I'm picking for the forthcoming uh, weekend matches for the uh, EPL which hopefully you guys uh, will be getting involved in as well. So it's not just a pay to play as well guys. You also do have free play games where you you can uh, try and win some money that way as well and we'll go through that in the contest which you can see on the screen now guys so if you do want to download it on an app there's a link down below in the comment section in the description sorry and if you do want to play it on the desktop there is a website where you can go and sign up and uh, take advantage and also guys if you do use the code B87 you get a nice reward from FanDuel themselves and which you guys can see on the screen now you can deposit up to £400 which FanDuel will match as well so you guys can double up and uh, managed to get £800 back. And the other thing, guys, is the second shot. If you enter one of the tournaments uh, for, for whatever price that you guys do see on the website, up to £10, uh, let's say even if you enter with a £20 tournament, guys, and uh, you don't win in the winner's bracket and make any money back, you will be refunded the £10 back into your account so you can go there again next week and try and make some money. So it's a very, very good deal off FanDuel. I will explain that a little bit more, guys, just in detail. So if you go into a £5 tournament uh, for your first entry and you do not win it or win any money from it you will get £5 back off FanDuel same if you enter £10 and then obviously the limit's £10 so if you guys do enter a £20 tournament and do not win then you will get £10 back anyway so it's a good deal from FanDuel two awesome things there the second shot and also the deposit bonus as well guys so you got uh, a lot more positives from this website already and we've not even got into it and shown you guys what's happening so what we're going to be doing today guys is taking a look around we have got £10 we are going to spend that wisely and build a team to compete in the uh, upcoming games at the weekend and uh, see if we can walk away with some decent money so the tournament we are playing guys is we're gonna i don't know we'll have a look at the contest round just, just so you guys know how we're going to be doing it so if you have a look we've got the recommended ones the ones which fanjul do recommend and there's a hell of a bunch of them there or arranging for all the one pound entry free entry on some of them as well uh, but obviously we're going to spend all 200 pound per entry as well if you're a big baller and do trust your footballing knowledge so the ones we're going to do guys is the fan favorite so if we click it and you can see the prize is already first gets you 750 pound uh, as a return there is a few entries left in this one as well and all the way down so even if you finish 401st you're going to get your 10 pound back if you finish after that and you use a discount code well not discount code the sign up code of b87 guys uh, you will make your money back after that anyway on your first contest only so this one's five pound entry actually so yeah i think we're going to go for this one guys and then we're going to go through the team. So, I need to, well, it tells you. It's got all the information, guys. Now, one of the things you need to realize when picking your team is that it's not just about the goals. It's not just about the assists. It's actually done via Opta. So, you guys know successful tackles, um, passes, long passes. All the important stats when it comes to football are all registered on here. So, even though a player may score a goal, if he uh, makes loads of uh, inaccurate passes and stuff like that, that could drop his rating down that little bit more. So, as you can see, guys, we have got some nice, lineups here and these are the goalkeepers going to go for now other thing i need to point out guys you've got 100 million pound to spend on each week so even though we're going to pick this team it resets for next week and that's how we're going to do it so moving down guys we have got well, it's, it's obvious. I think i'm going to go over cheap goalkeeper and save some money now We have got check for actually check first Check and Southampton game that could be a good choice. We got um, Heaton for Burnley and Hull, uh, Swansea and Chelsea. Definitely not going near that. I'm actually going for Chelsea's goalkeeper, uh, which is going to be our man Courtois and 7.3. Save some money there. I reckon we can definitely. Oh, even Stoke. Oh, he's injured. Um, Hart obviously isn't in the BPL no more. EPL, sorry. We've got Tottenham. Oh, Mignolet. Nah, don't trust any of these. Don't trust any of them. So, looking at it, guys, I am going to go with uh, Courtois and spend a 7.3 mil on my goalkeeper and now move on to the defence. So, we have to pick. Well, 11 players, guys, and we are going to go for it pretty wisely. So we've got Fuchs, who not really interested. 
Oh, you can see Danny Rose at the top there. I think I'm going to go with two expensive ones. Um, Koscielny might be a good choice. I'm just trying to think of the money to save. We have saved a bit already. I'm going to go with Koscielny as my first pick. I'm going to go with Klein. Klein could be a good choice. A little bit expensive. Bellerin, Francis, Ivanovic might be a good choice. I'm gonna go with I would I would say I would say Moreno guys, but you know my thoughts on him if you follow me on social media. Um, I'm actually gonna go with Williams, who is uh, Everton's brand new uh, signing um, for the game against Sunderland, and I think I may go even cheaper. Should I go one more expensive? I think I think that'll do. I still got 75 mil remaining, but a hell of a lot of players uh, to go through. So I think I'm gonna go with. I'm going to go with Jags. He's going to be one. And we've got 69 mil left. And I'm going to go pretty cheap this time round, guys. And hopefully try and get some points up. I am going to go with... I think I might go for Ayala, you know. I'm going to go for Ayala and hopefully try and uh, uh, sort him out. And if we, you can also got the average points there, guys. So the points we've picked, we've got an average points of 16. Obviously, the wing backs seem to get the better ones as well with the average points, as you can see there. Uh, but it gives you a bit of an inkling as to what you're purchasing. So the ones we've done... It's looking all right. It's not looking the worst. Obviously, Ayala's got an average of 14 points, which is pretty high. And I think moving on to the mids, guys, that's probably where I'm going to do the most of the money. So, we're looking at Liverpool versus uh, Leicester. I am a Liverpool fan. I do want to put someone in there. And I think I might go Milner because potentially he could be playing the left back and uh, could get some decent points there. And he is pushing up as well. So, I am going to throw Milner in there for 10 mil. It's getting very expensive. I don't know whether to move on to the... Uh, I'm going to pick the striker. I'm going to pick two strikers now. So... Ibra, can I see Ibra doing anything? No. Can I, see San can I see Sanchez doing something? Yes, I can. Can I see Kane doing something? Yes, I can. There we are, guys. That's the two strikers done, Sanchez and Kane. And the only reason I've gone with them two guys is because of the other fixtures. Obviously, Aguero and Ibrahimovic up against each other with the Manchester United and Manchester City game. And that leaves us with three midfielders to get for 27.7 mil, which is pretty tidy. So I am going to go with Willian as my first choice because he is a very, very good attacking player player and uh, obviously gets the ball quite a lot and i think the other one so we've got a 17 mil so i'm gonna pick another good one and it's probably gonna be ozil a decent return for his game against arsenal it is against southampton as well i am going with a hell of a lot of arsenal players free already and uh it's looking pretty good so the final player guys which i think i'm gonna put in we've only got 7.2 remaining so i need to pick wisely this time round and i think if i see anyone good here Fellaini could have been a good choice actually. Fernandinho, he could be a good choice. Game, yeah. I'm gonna go with Fernandinho. We spent 100 mil, guys. That is it done. That is our team ready for the fan duel. You guys gonna get signed up? It's that easy, guys. And we enter our lineup there. So we spent five pound of our entry fee. And oh, do we go twice? Do we go twice? Ooh, do I go twice? I think I might just enter one, just for the be on the safe side, guys. Are you sure you want to enter this lineup? Now, we are doing it a little bit early compared to the week, but I am going to do it, guys. And uh, that is our lineup entered into it. And that's how easy FanDuel is, guys. So, like I said, you guys want to sign up, all the links are down below. If you want to do it on desktop, uh, Android, on iOS, everything, guys, it's all on there. So, as you guys know, when you do enter your fantasy team, usually you get stuck with it, cannot change it. But FanDuel have introduced a new uh, feature on it called Late Swap. So say Fernandinho does not make the Manchester City team against Manchester United, I have got the chance to pull him out, replace him with someone who is actively playing and uh, try and save them points and make myself some decent money at the end. And with that being one of the features, guys, I'm really hoping, I'm hoping really for the, in the top 50 at least, that's what I'm going to go for, guys. It's my first time. I'm definitely going to go for it and we'll uh, just move on and uh, and see the other ones. So if we go to contest, see upcoming, um, you can see this is, this is one we signed up for. So we I've got a lot of games there just for the... Oh, actually, it runs on until the Saturday and Sunday as well. So you've got uh, some tidy games. It was over the three days. Uh, but it looks very, very nice. I'm happy with it, guys. I hope you guys are happy. You can see all the rules there. Um, with, if you want to look even deeper. And you can see all the points and stuff where you do gather it up to get them scores on your players. Very, very simple. Probably over-explained it to you guys. But if you do want to be with a chance of, uh, obviously, winning some cash and other giveaways, feel free to uh, sign on up and... Uh, Show me your teams. Feel free to tweet me your teams to see if you can get a better team than I've got for that 100 mil that I've spent and hopefully going to win some money back. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like here and go and sign up to FanDuel. All the links are down below. And uh, we'll be back another day, another video for you guys to enjoy.